Hello and welcome to Daylight Disinfected News. I'm Dan Sandini. On March 15th, known criminals from the former Occupy movement attacked a well-known citizen journalist in the Portland area. Here's the story. By now you may have seen footage from March 15th's Portland Anarchist anti-police rally, which caused hundreds of dollars of damage. Violent anarchists overturned trash cans, beat on private automobiles, and broke several windows throwing bricks and balls. The Portland Police SWAT team had to be called out to put down the riot, as well as numerous bicycle-mounted patrolmen at the cost of what is undoubtedly thousands of taxpayer dollars. The liberal mainstream media in Portland has once again been complacent in supporting what's left of Occupy Portland by largely ignoring the story. What hasn't been reported so far is the assault on the alternative media which showed up to cover the event. Keep in mind, this was an event to which the public was invited. One occupier attacked a citizen journalist just prior to the vandalism at the Multnomah County Probation Office. Carlton Ray Smith attacked citizen journalist Dan Sandini just as the attack on the county property was about to take place. This was in an attempt to prevent him from photographing the perpetrators. Smith slapped and punched Sandini's camera, hands and arms, and continued foiling at him throughout the act of vandalism. Whereas Carlton Smith began his antics prior to, or as the vandalism was occurring, this would indicate that he may have had prior knowledge that the attack on this particular building was going to take place at this particular time. It seems Smith is no stranger to trouble. Shown here in this November 2011 mugshot from a trespassing charge, here this past December being put into the county lockup, and finally in this February 29, 2012 booking photo on a felony charge of criminal mischief. Watch carefully now as you can see Smith come out of the right side of the frame, just as the trash barrels are being overturned. And here, as Smith hits the cameraman and then continues to flail at him throughout the attack. Daylight Disinfectant News will be filing a police report with the Portland City Central Precinct where Colin Ray Smith was last detained. Whether Smith is currently on probation is not known at this time. Later that evening, an additional assault occurred against the videographer. Occupiers who were part of the protest issued anti-gay and homophobic slurs against the videographer. Many other occupiers and anarchists were involved in this and they may be the subject of future news releases as this story develops and attention merits. And that's the news. Be sure to check back frequently to DaylightDisinfectant.com for future news releases. Until next time, this is Dan Sandini for Daylight Disinfectant News.